We found a raid candidate, my friend. Edgeposky for the raid. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for following everyone. It's an honor to meet all of you. My name is Honor. I am a Swedish LGBTQ variety streamer. We play a lot of uh, adventure games, uh, role-playing games, open world games here. Sometimes we do art. We're doing that on Sunday. And today we're playing Grim Fandango, which is a great game from 1998. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm not keeping up with all the follows. Um, Purple I see, Rolly Boy, Linda Elrock, uh, I'm from Mars, Triforce, Daryl, thank you so much for the follow. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we are here in the name of the noodles, so by the holy pasta ramen, just over <laughs> Welcome and thank you. Really, really hit cool username, thank you. Uh, would you mind sharing your streamer origin story? The reason why you got in streaming? What did your life look like at that point? So I, I've actually, if we look at my account age, uh, let's see here. There we are. Uh, I've, I had this, I've had this account for almost five and a half years. I created way, way back when I was playing World of Warcraft and I, so I haven't been on Twitch for years and then I was sick and during 2019, uh, I, I got sick. Um, and we, um, and, and I just hung out and I started watching a few jet let's plays on YouTube. Um, and that person had, I wish I remember who it was, but that person had a Twitch channel and I checked that out and it turned out, uh, yeah, I, I found out that you actually could have like nice, wholesome communities and, and chats on Twitch. I'd only ever checked out like a few of the top players that had like chat that went a mile a minute, couldn't keep up and it was really toxic. Um, and so last year I started checking out Twitch more and more. I found more and more communities I liked and I found, started seeing that I, there might be a place for me there. I play a lot of single player games and bothering my friends about how great they were was sort of weird so playing it on twitch with all of you made more sense so last year october 3rd i started streaming and um i found so many great amazing friends through twitch and on christmas eve 2018 i became an affiliate um and it's just been a wild ride since then Thank you so much for the 25 minutes. We answered this question earlier. If you were famous, what would you be famous for? Ooh. Is it what I could be famous for or what I would like to be famous for? Because I feel those are quite different. Also worked on a patch for Grim Fandango 99 for the PC. Really? That's amazing. I'm having such a good time replaying it. But what would I be famous for? I would <laughs> love to be famous for um, helping other people achieve success. It's sort of like, it's, it's something that I've been working on in like, in my professional career, coaching others, um, that I really enjoy helping others. Uh, I know I'm still like a miniature, uh, Twitch channel as things go, but when I have friends who sort of try to figure out what to do, I love helping them. So that would be sort of, I would be very happy, like staying cool. outside of the spotlight and helping someone else be, be great. One of the crazy things about Twitch, two things that is that I did not expect with Twitch. Well, three things. I didn't expect to get this many friends through Twitch. Just awesome people who I, I would never have met otherwise. I just thought, okay, I'm going to sit and play the game, and Chad is going to ask me questions about the game, and I'm going to tell them what I like, and that's going to be the dynamic, and that is not what happened. <laughs> right it's this back and forth we make memes we um we joke with each other it's amazing that would be very cool and very rewarding all right i know right um but what also happened is uh, because people have been very open about their own mental health mental health day was a few days ago but uh, a lot of twitch streamers that i love and respect have been very open about their mental health and well-being and going to therapy so this year i got into therapy as well because uh, it finally sort of clicked for me that therapy is not something that you need to be you know really depressed to get into or have lots of like problems to pass some invisible line in the sand where now therapy is uh, something you can get into therapies for everyone exactly bosky i went way further than you imagined to be <laughs> right um 
Yes, Honor. Uh, the community is awesome. It is. Would you rather return to being five years old um, with all your current experience or stay current age and instantly get all the experience from your future self will learn? Mm, I... Hmm, that's a tough one, isn't it? Um... Kiku Bry, welcome in. I get therapy too. Yeah. Everyone should like and everyone should get get into therapy at least once. Um I wish it was more easily available and affordable for people. Uh, but that was one change I did. And the other one that was that I started making art again. Uh so uh, which I haven't done for years. I used to paint as a kid and I, I haven't picked up a brush for years, and now I've had the chance to make my own emotes this year which has been uh, amazing so i'm i'm so happy that i got the chance to do that as well i that was completely unexpected <laughs> um but yeah so return to five years old with all current experience or stay current age and instantly gain all experience from future self i would like i'm very happy where i am like i'm i'm turning 36 next month i'm very these were where I am right now. So I would much rather gain more experience where I am than go back. Even though you can you can think, oh, I would have done this differently or whatever. No, it's it's a lot better to just start from where you are. What's that saying? The best best time to plant a tree was a one hundred years ago, but the second best time is now. Those are cool notes. Thank you so much. I got the therapy and a social group to get out of the house and, and um, not isolate myself as much. That's amazing. That's a really good reason. I want to answer that earlier. I want to be famous for someone who um, always helps um, feed and clothe the homeless and the poorest of the poor. I wish I have enough wealth and connections to help the needy. Some of that, I want to be famous for go, going fast and doing a lot of extreme sports. That's really cool, January. Thank you. I helped with the loot emote. You did. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think it's amazing to sort of figure out where your values are. Uh, I had the um, immense pleasure. One of my friends uh, went like got into one of those coaching courses this year where the goal is to become a coach of other people. And so I got to be a... Um, uh, sort of test test subject for that coaching and one of the things that we did was sort of sit down and sort of okay where are your values because there we assume that everyone has the same values or that everything's equally important but it's not really and then sitting down okay it, what's really important to you what would you like the world to look like blah 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 and then turning that around and saying okay so what are you doing about that is what you're doing today, like your job, your hobbies, your interests, are they aligned with that? Or are you going around being like feeling bad because you're not fulfilling your values, that sort of thing? Are you living them? It's a really cool exercise and done the right way. You can feel more empowered to go out and be more helpful or whatever. Um, that's also what led me to do charity streams this summer, for example, during Pride Month. Um, healthy outlook to... Um, to know yourself like that. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for being so open about yourselves. I, I love it. Uh, 